If you uh, want to change your mind, if you want to change the protection that's, uh, that you've put on a page, the mProtect syscall lets you do that. So, for example, we can take a very similar program. I start out with read and write access so that I can write some memory, and then I stop writing to it and just make it executable. And this is actually a good thing to do. It's not good to have pages that are both writable and executable because that's, that's a possibility that opens possibilities for exploits of your program. Um, if you uh, distinguish between when you mean to write code and when you mean to execute the code, it's better. So let's try this out and make sure it works. Um, compile, run. Uh, actually, we got a seg fault. So why is that? Uh, that's because after I executed and that was okay, we saw okay, I tried to write to it and it's not writable anymore. So we failed here. On the other hand, if I didn't add execute permission, then we won't even get to the okay part there. Right. So in map starts out with some protections, but you can change the bits, change the mapping, the virtual table mapping to change the protections using mProtect. So we've seen how in the virtual page table mapping we can set executable and writable bits um, so that read of an unmapped page will fail, or write to a read-only page will fail, or jump to non-executable will fail. Um, when it's failed so far we've just seen segmentation fault and uh, the program exits. But in fact uh, these things trigger an exception at the CPU level. The kernel handles that section and it turns it into a signal at the process level. And we can handle this signal. The signal is SigSegV, and uh, the default handler of SigSegV prints segmentation faults and exit. But uh, we can change that behavior if we want to. And uh, the way that one way that's useful to to change that behavior is to have that signal handler change the protection on a page if for some reason it's suitable. So in this case, I have mapped some memory with read and execute. Uh, uh, protection on it, so that when I try to write to it, it's going to fail. But failure means that the signal handler gets called, uh, so recover is going to get called, and it's going to use mProtect to allow writes after all. When the signal handler returns, as in most cases, the CPU will retry the writes that failed before. And this time it'll work, and so it'll be okay after all. So we can see this uh, in our program. It's going to print out, oop, ouch, to say that we did get um, a segmentation violation, but instead of aborting the program, we changed the permissions so that it's able to complete running after all. This technique of setting protections on a page and then using a signal handler to detect uh, failure, this is actually going to be useful, and we'll see a use later in the year, where um, it helps us know that a write has happened to a particular page, so that maybe we need to do something with that write later on.